Hey everyone, it is Melissa Morrow here in Jacksonville, Florida. And today I thought I would take you to one of my favorite stores and that is the at home store. I love the at home store for buying on the fly. When I have time, of course, I like to buy wholesale, but in all honesty, it doesn't always make sense. Some of the things that I find here, which I'm gonna show you today, I can often get a better deal on going ahead and buying retail, especially when I've negotiated a discount in this store and it makes more sense for me to buy retail than it does for me to buy wholesale. And art is often one of those things. I'm actually really in love with this alpaca. I may have to buy him. Um, but here for the $70 for this size of art, it is a really good value. And I tend to find that Unless I'm buying can unless I'm buying art that is either very large or very high end for luxury properties, the average homes that we do here in Jacksonville, the art here I can actually purchase less expensively than I can buy wholesale. <clears throat> and so that makes it a really good value for us. And I have Matt with me today doing the video, but I'm gonna let him just kind of do a quick peek around at some of the art here. And um, we're gonna go to another art section in just a moment. And I'm gonna show you some of my favorite deals there. This is one of my favorite sections of the at-home store. It is the small framed art pieces. Now these are perfect for children's rooms or small pieces of art over nightstands, behind lamps, things like that, um, bathrooms, those areas. And what I love about them is I can absolutely cannot beat the price when I'm purchasing wholesale. You check out pieces like this, $15 for a piece of framed art, um, $9 for a piece of framed art, and if you're lucky enough, you can sometimes dig through here or come at special times of the year. I actually have an arrangement with the general manager of the store that they notify me when they've gone into clearance. And so when they come into clearance, I'm usually here with three or four carts and my guys will come and pick everything up and I'm likely to spend several thousand dollars on art because not only is it 25% off the original already really low prices, but then I get my discount on top of that. And that's great because it helps them move the art off the floor so that they can make room for new pieces. But when I'm restocking my staging inventory, it allows me to get things below cost most of the time, which is a tremendous opportunity for me to restock my shelves. And coincidentally, it usually happens when we're actually at the busiest time, because when they're ready to restock art, it is a change of seasons, which is when we are busiest in our markets. So um, just looking at this, like this piece is only $10 and it would be great in an office space, um, even on a little easel on a, on a bookshelf or something like that with um, a decanter set in front of it, something along those lines. I have so much of this art that um, it can make your mind probably blow. But we also do lots of um, stacked art where we're gonna have mix this with other pieces and do collages on the wall. It's very inexpensive. It has a great powerful statement and uh, we get a very big bang for our bucks in the home staging projects. So one of my favorite things to buy at the at-home store is actually rugs. And the reason is because not only are they affordable, but it's one of the only places that I can actually find eight by 10 rugs. And if you follow me at all through social media, you've probably learned that I have a huge pet peeve about rugs that are too small. The rule of thumb for rugs is that at least one piece of furniture needs to have its two front feet on the rug. And if you have any other pieces around it, ideally they should also have their front feet, but at least one major piece of furniture needs to have its two front feet on it. And five by seven rugs 
typically don't meet that criteria. They just end up sort of being a rug with a coffee table sitting on them and no other furniture. And that looks a little funny. To me, it's like Aladdin's magic carpet is being held down by the coffee table. So I love to come here and get rugs. Um, eight by 10 is very affordable for us. And eight by 10 is only $200, $199.99. And then again, I get my discount on top of that. That makes it a very affordable purchase on the fly. Now, if I have time, uh, a lead time, I'm gonna go ahead and buy them wholesale. And my favorite place to buy them wholesale is Uttermost. It's where I can get really beautiful eight by 10 and nine by 12 rugs that, um, they're about the only place that I have found that I can find good rugs that can compete. And if you don't love the sisal jute or this type of rug, which works really well in Florida, they have all kinds of other rugs. Um, you can look around, they've got the Orientals and very on trend. Anything that you can find, typically on like overstock.com and places like that, you're gonna be able to find at the at-home store probably for the same price or less. And we're gonna move to a different section of rugs and I'm gonna teach you one of the big tricks that we use in some of our staging projects. So one of my favorite tips is sometimes we have these rooms where an eight by 10 is actually just way too small of a rug. Again, our rule is that the furniture feet need to sit on top of the rug. And in those cases, without having to cram everything to the center and have all the space behind you, we actually need a nine by 12 rug. And our tip here for nine by 12 rugs is we like to come to the at-home store, look for these fluffy rugs like this, especially ones that have got some nice color and some variety to them. We love this one as well. We pick up two six by nine rugs. When you put two six by nine rugs together, Longwise, what you end up with is a nine by 12. And when they're fluffy and shaggy like this, we can sort of just brush the seams together and most people will never notice that it's actually two rugs and not one. And that's how we're able to come up with on the fly, a really large rug for some of these really big houses. And the nice thing is later when we're doing bedrooms, we can use a six by nine um, under a full size bed. So it doesn't have to just sit around the warehouse waiting for the opportunity to be a nine by 12 rug again. Okay, so here's a secret. I can usually buy headboards for full queen and king size beds much less expensively here than I can buy them wholesale. And I get them available to me exactly when I need them, freeing up cash when I need it. And if, as you can see, they have great styles that are neutral and we have some more around the other side. The best thing is I only have to buy them when I need them and I don't have to buy them in any specific quantity, wait for shipping or pay for shipping. And again, with my discount, I'm actually usually buying them for less than I can buy them wholesale. And Matt and I are gonna stroll down this way because this is another section that I love to buy from. Again, here, they're all things that are in style and I'm usually buying them for less than I can buy them wholesale. And I only have to buy them when I need them as opposed to having to pre-order and then wait for them to come in, hoping that I either have them when I finally need them or um, having to buy mass quantities and have them sit in my warehouse until I need them. And then there are times that we want to buy wholesale, but we can't. When I was starting my home staging business, I didn't have the availability of funds, nor did I have the warehouse space or even knowing what I would need to buy in the future to stock up on larger purchases. And so when I started my business here in Jacksonville, I actually came here to stock up on larger pieces as well. And sofas are things that are really hard to find without breaking the bank. One of the things that I love about the sofas here at the at-home store is they're reasonably good quality and they're typically anywhere from about $3.99 to $6.99. And we have a bunch of sofas that in our inventory now, they, they have a good look. And I don't know that I'd wanna live on them necessarily every single day with the life that I lead with animals and children and those types of things. 
but definitely for staging, this is a great value when you're in a pinch and you need to be either begin stocking your inventory or you just need something today. And if you look around at the shelf next to us, you can see tons of ottomans and stools and benches. And honestly, it's cheaper again to buy them here than it is to actually order wholesale in most cases. This bench down here looks almost exactly like one that I get from 40 West. And honestly, it's pre-assembled, so I don't need to do any assembly work with it. And it's priced at almost the exact same price that I pay wholesale which is a great bargain because I don't need to spend the money on my guys putting them together either. So I don't know about you, but for me, dining chairs are practically the bane of my existence. No matter how good of a job I do on trying to make sure we have enough, it seems it's one of the first things that we always run out of. And if I'm out of chairs, the at-home store is my absolute first place to go. I can find great stylish chairs, just like I would order for the manufacturers for very reasonable prices. So I can get casual chairs for breakfast rooms, typically anywhere from 50, usually $49.99, $50 to about $65. And I can get great looking high-end chairs for typically under $150 a chair. They have them stocked and I can grab them immediately. And usually I can actually even come back and find those styles several weeks later if we've destaged a house and I need to pick up a couple more for another project. I always try to make sure I'm buying anywhere from four to six at a time. Uh, usually it's actually more like 12 to 18 of them. And again, my discount applies. So uh, I can usually actually buy the chairs for about the same price that I'm buying them wholesale, and then I don't have to keep them on my shelves at the warehouse. And that makes it a great value for me. I also don't have to pay for shipping, and I don't have to use my cash before I need it. That helps with cash flow in our business as it continues to grow. Okay, and for our final destination, I'm taking you to side tables and coffee tables. And there's a section over by the art that I like to call the brass and glass section. And while those are great for some projects, they're not quite as hardy as some of the pieces I like. This new section that they've got in, I consider to be a little more farmhouse, a little more Joanna Gaines-like um, in style. And I probably have a dozen of both of these tables. They come in both short and taller sizes in both the white and black and the wood stained and black. And if they aren't just the cutest, the price is amazing. The small one is only um, $49.99 and the large one is $59.99. And best of all, when you're looking at um, inventory, they fold almost completely flat, which makes them a space saver in both your vehicles and in your warehouse. That is what I call a good buy when you are shopping for staging inventory. And it's actually really easy to fold. We simply look for the little clips on the side with our fingers. We're able to lift it and slide these together. It's much easier when you can actually see. And then fold it, there, oops, folding the wrong way. So fold it down this way. So it only takes a couple of seconds to be able to quickly fold them down and then throw them in your vehicles. Um, even if you've got big trailers, sometimes you just need to throw something in there because you forgot a table or you had to go buy one on the fly because you didn't have enough left in storage. Even when you're just purchasing them to get them into your inventory. These are great values. They're really cute. I get a lot of compliments on them from the homeowners and in our staging photos when we're on social media. So I hope you've enjoyed our tour at the at-home store, one of my favorite places to purchase inventory as I'm growing my home staging business. Thanks for joining us.